morning everyone i am dr satyabhatsha mdm clinic pharmacology and today i am going to talk on evapradin we all know that evapradin is a drug used in chronic heart failure and it is also an anti angina medication coming to the mechanism of action it is a heart rate lowering agent that acts by selectively and specifically inhibiting the cardiac pacemaker current if that is funny current a mixed sodium potassium inward current that controls the spontaneous diastolic depolarization in the sinoatrial node and hence regulates the heart rate and it is used in a class of medications called hyperpolarization activated cyclic nucleotide gated hcn channel blockers and it is available as evapradin tablet 5 mg evapradin tablet 7.5 mg etc the dose is tablet evapradin 5 mg pdpc uh, uh, and it should be given according to the guideline to this person and pharmacokinetic parameter its half life is 2 hours viability is 40 percent and it is extensively metabolized in liver and intestines by qip 3a4 mediated oxidation and it approximately 4 percent of oral dose is excreted on changing urine and coming to the indication it is indicated in congestive heart failure and stable angina and coming to the contraindications uh, we cannot use in decompensated heart failure patients blood pressure those patients who have blood pressure less than 90 by 50 mm hg uh, then those patients have a conduction abnormality that is sick sinus syndrome and those patients have been sinoatrial block heart degree av block heart ventricular block we cannot use this medication then coming to the adverse reaction the adverse reaction can be bradycardia sinus arrest heart block sinus node dysfunction a uh, first or second degree av block and bundle branch block uh, it can also cause ventricular dyssynchrony etc so this drug some have some side effects and so this drug can be used according to the guideline and person thank you very much